Welcome to the Price Check. I'm Peter Stichuk. Let's look at the salaries for Indy, whose salary jumped up this week. Denny Hamlin, $9,400 up to $10,000 over the last three seasons. He has six top fives at the road courses, but zero wins. Kyle Larson, $10,200 up to $10,800. Hendrick owns the road courses. He won at Sonoma. He won last weekend at Watkins Glen. Chase Elliott, $10,600 up to $11,000. Hendrick owns the road courses. He should have won at Daytona. He did win at Coda and at Road America. Whose salary dropped this week? Ryan Newman, $7,300 down to $6,100. This new road course heavy schedule not working out very well for Newman. His best finish at a road course this season is 20th. Kurt Busch, $10,000 down to $9,000. His career stats are the best at road courses this season. He has the fifth best average finish at the road courses. Daniel Suarez, 7,500 down to 6,600. Mechanical failures have resulted in ugly finishes. In his last two road races, if he could get opposite luck, then he could easily get a top 15 finish. Favorite play of the week, Chase Briscoe, 7,900. I'm tough on Briscoe, but he's a good road course racer. Two Xfinity wins, including one at Indy and three top tens at the road courses this season. Ricky Stenhouse Jr., 5,900. He's cheap. He's likely going to qualify in the back. He's got a top 20 finish in the last two road course races. All right, guys, check out DK Nation for all your DFS information and needs. If you got NASCAR questions, find me on Twitter, at Race for the Prize. I'm Pierce Teacher. Catch me on DK Live.